In this work, we proposed a low latency neural network for event cameras, where we achieved over 50% reduction in latency compared to conventional methods. This video compares our method with the conventional YOLO X model. Our method can detect the crossing car faster than YOLO X. The latency of our method is less than half of YOLO X. And the detection better tracks the car thanks to the reduced latency. We achieve such low latency processing using three neural memories operating at a different rates. The multi-rate design enables the network to encode scene contents at a proper temporal scale, which significantly reduces computational overhead. To avoid conventional lossy conversion from events to frames, we directly inject raw event streams into dense memory cells using attention with an event gating mechanism. From here, this video explains our work in more detail. To begin with, what is event camera? Event camera is a vision sensor that records illumination change. Each pixel record an event when illumination change from the previous event exceeds a threshold. Event data is like a point cloud in spatiotemporal 3D space. Each event has four values, pixel coordinate x, y, a timestamp t, and a polarity p. Event cameras have many attractive characteristics. Among them, we are interested in its extremely low latency. This figure shows how far the objects travel within a detection process. Here, a standard 30fps RGB camera and YOLO X detector are used. We can see that the latency of the RGB camera largely affects the distance. With an event camera, the latency of the data acquisition can be significantly reduced. Then, the latency of a detector becomes the next bottleneck. In this work, we try to develop a dedicated architecture for low latency event processing. And we have achieved over 50% reduction in latency compared to YOLO X. The core idea for low latency processing is to change network design from single rate to multi rate. This slide shows an example of conventional single rate models. The network works at a single rate because each stage is executed at every time step. Suppose the computational complexity of the stages are 1, 2, and 4 mega flops. Then, the network requires 7 mega flops per time step. A problem with the single rate design is the redundant computation at higher stages. In many cases, high level scene contexts change slowly. For example, in the video, the car crosses the scene at high speed, but the other scene context is almost static. Despite that, the single rate network extracts the static contents at a high frequency with a large computational burden. The contents should be encoded at a proper temporal scale depending on their movement speed. To this end, our key idea is a multi-rate network with decreasing operating rates. In this example, stage 1 operates at every step, stage 2 operates at every 2 steps, and stage 3 operates at every 4 steps. Thanks to the multi-rate scheme, the computation at later stages are distributed over multiple time steps decreasing flops per time step from 7 mega to 3 mega flops. To achieve this concept, we propose hierarchical neural memory network. The proposed model consists of three neural memories with different rates and a task-specific head. The memory Z1 has the highest frequency. Every time step, event data is written into Z1 memory state. Then, the memory state is updated by residual blocks, and the operation is repeated. Memory Z2 operates at a lower frequency. At every two time steps, the Z1 memory state is written into Z2 memory state which is then updated by residual blocks. Memory Z3 executes similar operations at the lowest frequency. The features are read out from each memory and put into a buffer. Finally, the task head computes prediction at every time step based on the features inside the buffer. Next comes the details of the operations. The memory has four basic operations, down-write, up-write, update, and readout. Down-write operation writes the high-level memory state using cross-attention. Up-write operation writes the low-level memory state similarly. Update operation update the latent state using residual blocks. Finally, readout operation computes the output feature for the task using a convolution layer. The lowest memory Z1 requires an operation to handle raw event streams. 
To directly inject event streams into Z1 memory cells, we also propose event sparse cross-attention. The method first transforms events into event embeddings using an MLP. Then, the embeddings are written into a memory state using sparse attention. The sparse attention computes cross-attention between a memory cell and events inside a local window. A drawback of sparse attention is its sensitivity to noise events. Here, a memory cell receives two input events. Suppose that these events are both noises, which is often the case with event cameras. The attention first calculates key query similarity S. The similarity should be small because the memory state has less relation to noise. However, the attention enhances the similarity weights by softmax normalization and thus picks up the noises. To suppress the weights for noises, we introduce an event gate. The learnable gating parameter, G, is attached. After softmax, the attention weights can be successfully suppressed because the key query similarity is less than the gating parameter G. Finally, the gate is removed before applying the attention. Here are the experimental results on semantic segmentation. The horizontal axis shows latency, and the vertical axis shows mean IOU. The proposed models are shown in red dots and the previous ones in blue. As we can see, the HMNet outperforms the previous methods on both accuracy and latency. Here we show results on object detection. Our method performs competitively with previous methods while reducing latency by 40 to 50 percent. We also extend HMNet for sensor fusion. The difficulty is that the sensors often have different operating frequencies, such as events and image frames. The multi-rate design of HMNet is a natural fit for addressing such a situation. For event RGB fusion, RGB images can be written to memory Z3 since it has a similar operating frequency. Specifically, we encode an RGB input and simply write the feature to memory Z3 using cross-attention. The slide shows the experimental result of event RGB fusion. For the baseline, we concatenate an event frame and an RGB frame and feed it to ResNet50. As a result, the accuracy of the baseline has degraded by RGB fusion. This is due to the temporal and spatial misalignment between the event and RGB frame. On the other hand, our HMNet can improve the accuracy with RGB fusion, showing the robustness to the misalignment. This is the conclusion of this work. Thank you for listening.